Capturing and storing carbon dioxide in safe subsurface rock formations is potentially one of the biggest contributors to limiting the effects of greenhouse gas emissions. With extensive subsurface know-how, Schlumberger is a leading technology and service supplier for the identification and characterization of potential storage sites. We believe that the experience we have gained through working on nearly every carbon storage project in the world will bring invaluable expertise to CCS projects we're involved in. The images that are being displayed here in 3D are those from an actual CO2 storage site the CO2 CRC Otway project in Victoria, Australia, where the Cooperative Research Centre for Greenhouse Gas Technologies has already injected and monitored over 65,000 tonnes of CO2. That is roughly as much CO2 as 25,000 cars would emit in a year. The CO2 CRC Otway project is one of the first and most significant examples of carbon dioxide storage sites in the world. Sites like Otway are chosen for storage through a process known as characterization. Geologists have a large-scale knowledge of the regional subsurface, but the decision to store CO2 underground can only be taken after the area has been thoroughly studied and its characteristics are known in the greatest detail. It is important to gather as much information as possible in order to obtain a detailed understanding of the subsurface. Measurements are needed to evaluate the location, shape and properties of the potential CO2 storage rock. Initially, seismic measurements, which are similar to ultrasound imaging of the human body, are carried out from the surface with the objective of constructing a three-dimensional image of the rock layers, their shapes, and their structural features. The seismic images shown here are interpretations of seismic data that show the outline of the layers and focus on the rock structure that has been identified as the most suitable to store the CO2. Possible sites include structural traps where CO2 is contained by a ceiling of impermeable rock layers and by structural features called faults, which act as lateral walls. In the case of the CO2 CRC Otway project, this particular rock volume was chosen, bounded by two faults and topped by a ceiling layer. Detailed evaluation is required to ensure that this is the case. The surface you are seeing represents the top of a potentially suitable rock layer. The two surfaces that extend upwards are the faults. The storage rock lies within those boundaries. It is now time to drill a well, shown here in blue, into this structure. Important measurements are made in the well to study the suitability of the surrounding rock to store carbon dioxide. Properties such as rock porosity and permeability are integrated into the assessment. In this example, the blue well will be used to inject the CO2. Another well, shown here in red, is equipped with sensors to monitor the progress and movement of the injected CO2. It is important to predict how the injected CO2 will be stored in the rock formation. This ensures that the required amount can be injected and will stay safely trapped for an indefinitely long time. In this case, the behavior of CO2 during and after the injection was predicted over a period of 50 years. In the case of the CO2 CRC Otway project, injection of CO2 began on the 2nd of April 2008. The injection has been monitored from there on, meaning that continuous measurements are taken to track any movement of CO2. The CO2 plume is shown here as it spreads away from the injection point and reaches the monitoring well where it is detected by a sensor. Observations made are compared to predictions, with any difference requiring the model to be updated which would make characterization of the storage rock even more precise. CO2 movement prediction is then made using the updated model and this cycle is repeated regularly over time. The objective of such appraisal, prediction and verification is to obtain the most accurate model possible of a storage site, allowing a full understanding of CO2 behavior at all times. The images that you have seen show that the steps that are involved in identifying suitable rock structures for CO2 storage are complex and cover a wide range of technical disciplines. Detailed characterization, extensive predictive modeling and continuous monitoring are essential to ensure that carbon dioxide is injected safely and stored permanently for hundreds and thousands of years.